Hi, my name is Lydia Fry. Today we'll be talking about cables. We'll talk about the different types and uses for audio, lighting, and power cables. Then we'll look briefly at proper cable wrapping techniques to maintain your cables. First, let's look at audio cables. The most common audio cable you'll work with is the XLR. This is a three-pin balanced cable, meaning it carries isolated positive and negative lines for signal, plus a shield. XLRs are used for many different applications within the audio signal path. They carry input or output signal. XLRs are used to plug microphones into a sound system, and they're also used to carry output from the soundboard to the power amp or powered speakers. A bunch of XLRs all grouped together is called a snake, which is used to carry multiple inputs or outputs from one location to another. This is a quarter inch cable. There are two kinds of quarter inch cables, balanced and unbalanced, or also called TRS and TS cables. The TRS cable is a balanced quarter inch cable, which means it has tip, ring, and sleeve. Although it looks like one solid connector, the three parts of the TRS are actually isolated from each other to allow for the carrying of different parts of the signal, the same way the three pins are in an XLR. The tip and ring carry the positive and negative lines for signal, and the sleeve carries the shield. The TS, or unbalanced quarter inch cable, has only tip and sleeve, so it carries only a positive line for signal, and the sleeve still carries the shield. TS cables are used for instruments like guitars or keyboards. Uh, they carry the unbalanced signal from the instrument and are then plugged into a DI box, which takes that unbalanced signal and makes it balanced so that it can be plugged into the sound system the same way a microphone is. This DI box, or direct input box, is important because an unbalanced signal is more sensitive to interference over long distances. So by making the signal balance close to the source, we reduce that problem. TRS cables are used mainly on the soundboard end of the system for plugging in things like effects units, or some soundboards have balanced quarter inch outputs for things like auxiliary sends. This is a smaller version of the quarter inch cable. You'll recognize this as the thing you use to plug your headphones into your iPod. This is called an eighth inch cable. Like the quarter inch cable, this also comes in the balanced and unbalanced varieties. This particular cable is meant for plugging your iPod into a sound system. You'll see that the eighth inch side is balanced or stereo, and then it splits into two quarter inch unbalanced cables or mono. This allows you to have full control of your stereo sound to the left and right of your system. These are the two kinds of cables that are used to go between power amps and passive speakers. You'll notice this looks just like the quarter inch cable. The connector may be the same, but the two cables are very different. This is a speaker cable, which means it has a twisted pair of larger gauge cables that are meant for carrying higher signal levels to speakers, rather than the smaller gauge of an instrument quarter inch cable, which is designed to carry the lower signal levels of an instrument. A speaker cable also does not have the braided shield that an instrument quarter inch cable has. So, if you use a speaker cable rather than a patch cable, you're likely going to experience a lot of noise in your sound. This is a speak-on cable, or also called an NL4. It's called an NL4 because it has four conductors to carry signal from a power amp to a speaker. Most speakers have more than one driver within it, like a horn for the low frequencies and a tweeter for the high frequencies. Since they're outputting different signals, we often choose what signal each one gets from the sound system by means of a processor and separate power amps for each one. This process is called biamping. So when the NL4 carries the biamped signal to, to a dual driver speaker, the NL4 carries two positive and negative signal lines, one for the high driver and one for the low. If you have a system that requires more lines, like a line array with separate subs, then sometimes an NL8 may be necessary.